Hi Pisces, this is Jackie Tomlin. This is your general reading for the week of May 4th, 2020. Thank you guys for stopping by as we welcome the month of May. Also catch me live later this week as we go live and dig deep into your entire month of May. And uh, I think it's going to be a good month, so be sure to catch that as well. If you guys are enjoying these videos, please take the time to like, share, subscribe, retweet. I greatly appreciate it. If you're seeking a psychic reading, contact me at JackieTomlin.com or find a link to those readings located below this video. Okay, um, what we got going on? May 4th, week of May 4th. Changes in the home, wishes granted. Hmm, someone close to you coming in with an unexpected offer of assistance. A week of getting things under control, but it's also a week of knowing your abilities. Don't overextend yourself. I've seen this in more than one sign, and I think it's physically, like throwing your back out, doing something wrong. Be careful what you're doing, okay? So let's take a look. We're looking at Pisces. This is your entire week of May 4th, 2020. Pisces, ta-da, what more do I need to say? It's the magician. Followed by the three of wands, the nine of wands, the queen of pentacles, major kind of the death card, and the five of cups, okay? So let's break this down. I'm gonna pull you guys three more. Starting with the magician, overriding everything from what I say, it's kind of irrelevant from here on out. Highest card in the deck. This is your yes answer. You get everything you want, everything you desire, everything you want and desire is on that table before you. Three of Wands says that you've learned a lesson from the past. Nine of Wands says that you may be anxious. Anxiety is going to be high and you may be feeling a little bit overwhelmed. But I also describe this as a good overwhelm. Kind of that, you know, cat on the hot tin roof overwhelmed. That type of overwhelm. Moving forward, you guys have the Queen of Pentacles showing financial stability. There is that death card coming in with endings, closures, rebirth, and new beginnings. Strong on the emotional front because you have the emotions of closing out something and you have the emotions of starting something new. So it's going to be an emotional week. And we see that there with the Five of Cups. Get out of your head, Pisces. You guys have the magician. So stop overthinking things. Okay, move forward. Upcoming, you've got the Four of Pentacles. And you've got the Two of Cups. You have a Major Arcana of Judgment and the Two of Swords. Pisces, Four of Pentacles shows that you're applying money where it needs to be applied. You're making a wise financial decisions at this time. Two of Cups, Happy Union. Yes, this is significant in the love life. For my singles, this is something new. For my couples, this is just really good communication. Then we have a warning of judgment. And that judgment is warning you, if you pass judgment on someone too quickly, you're going to be wrong. Be mindful of that as you go through the week. Two of Swords shows that you need to make decisions. These decisions are ones that you've been putting off for too long. Time to take care of it. Time to make those decisions. So, Pisces. Do not pass judgment on someone. Strong emotions of closure and new beginnings with the Death card and overriding everything. The Magician. You guys get everything you want and everything you desire. Thank you guys for watching. Please take the time to like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to check out your daily as well as your weekend videos and look for me live as we do a full-blown reading on your entire month of May because I think it's going to be pretty special. Thanks, guys. Bye.